Hi guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to discuss about encapsulation. So again, encapsulation is coming under the OOPS concept basically. Okay, in Java, encapsulation is coming under OOPS concept. Okay, one of the main concept in Java, like OOPS. Okay, so what is this encapsulation basically? How it is going to impact your project and in real time? Okay, I will tell you step by step process. Okay. So encapsulation, the definition wise, the encapsulation, we will say it as it is a wrapping up of data. Okay, what it means wrapping up of data. For example, in very simple example, right? You are having chocolate, right? Just assume that any branded chocolates. So it will be chocolate will be the inside, right? So it will be wrapped by cover, right? So it will be safely wrapped by cover. If you see that couple of chocolate, right? chocolates right wrapped by cover with the same size of chocolates right for example the uh, size of chocolate is like a 10 uh, 10 centimeter length you can see the cover also it will be 10 to 11 centimeter length right so it is wrapping the chocolate so it means that the chocolate is safe right so chocolate is in very safe place right so the same concept encapsulation encapsulation nothing but it is safe it is securing some something what it is the something it is securing the fields basically in java we, we can say as a variables or fields right basically it is securing the fields with the help of encapsulation concept how it is doing that let's see in the real time example okay so for example example it is a java bean class okay but we can call it as a pojo class or bean class whatever it may be okay don't worry about it i will show you how to create it and how really it is how we are encapsulating all the stuffs i will show you now right away okay let me jump into eclipse okay so i'm going to create one class okay the class name i'm just giving it as a encapsulation example okay so i just created a class okay so i want to use the encapsulation concept it means that i want to wrap the i want to save secure the fields right so for example if you see our bean classes in java projects basically what we will do so while creating the fields right maybe just assuming that so string i have a just assume that this is like a employee class just assume that employee class okay instead of encapsulation example you just assume that in a employee class okay so employee class basically it will have the employee id right maybe you, you can see that integer employee id emp id i'm just treating as okay and string right emp name it means the employee name string employee address just assuming that couple of fields will be there right similarly to secure these fields basically what we can do to secure these fields uh, we are going to do the private if you use private it will be secured people cannot access from outside of this class right so if you are not knowing about private what is private what is public what is protected what is modifier access modifier if you does you know about access modifier please watch my older videos where i explain clearly about access modifier modifiers okay so when we use the private access modifier people cannot access it from outside of the class basically that is the main motive of this private modifier okay so i have three fields okay and which i made it as a private so people cannot access it from outside but again so if you are working in a big project definitely people has to access right then only you can use it out to accessing these fields okay so we are securing something what we are going to secure so if you see that in java like our eclipse tool is providing a couple of features to generate a code I want to get and setter methods. Okay, I'm just going to create only one get and setter for the apply ID. Okay, if you see that I have two methods, right? So if you clearly see that methods, the methods was declared in public. It means that people can access these methods from outside of this class, right? Hope you are clear with that, right? So people can access this met these methods outside of the class right got it correct so with the help of these methods if you see inside that i'm just trying to get employee id and i'm retaining the employee id of this private so obviously in this class we can access this private methods right 
so outside the class people are trying to access this method so inside that we are just returning this employee id again if somebody want to set the employee id value they can call this method set employee id and they can pass it out so those values we are setting with the help of this keyword we are setting into this employee id it means that we are accessing this private variables from outside that correct how we are securing here we are trying to secure for example employee id okay should be 10 characters i mean so 10 num 10 digits just assuming that are five digits okay you can validate that if right so the employee otherwise you just assume that the employee have, should be employee id should be greater than 1000 or greater than 100 okay so you can put the condition here that if the employee id is greater than 100 right so greater than 100 then let's set it otherwise don't set it correct so you can control this you can secure the fields with the help of your own logic if some some unwanted user came and he is giving the wrong input still you are not going to update those into this class you are updating if the employee id is proper you are validating that you are securing the field with some set of rules right hope you are clear the same way for employee name and employee address maybe you just assume that tomorrow the email id is that right email id so email id should be have the at annotation should have the dot right so those all the thing, things can be taken care by your setter method this is called a setter method this is called a getter method so you can simply create a getter and setter method for each fields if you go to generate getter and setter methods and selecting all the fields and generate it eclipse will create it for you if not you can create it okay you can create it inside that you have to write your own logic you can write it out so it means that you are securing your bean class correct hope you got it right so what is encapsulation encapsulation is wrapping up of data data means what it is your fields right these fields whenever you are assigning some data some employee ID data you can secure the data you can wrap the data with the help of some logic you can add it to your own logic right hope got it right so this is called encapsulation so encapsulation is very important concept in java if you are a java developer you should know that because in all the projects any type of project definitely you will use these bean classes okay hope you understood thanks thanks guys thanks for watching okay if you have any query feel free to come add it in comment section i will reply back okay thanks bye bye